Hello everybody, thank you for coming back to watch more of my rambles about building silly stuff. Uh, as normal, I'm getting a link out and we'll get started. So today, um, if you followed episode four, I built a floating spiral staircase in one of the castles. Uh, and then after, um, after I was finished building, uh, after I was finished streaming, actually, I um, changed it all up. Um, so it's it's actually changed quite a bit. Um, but I figured I would go back and retouch on what I did and why I did what I did. Uh, just to share a little bit, so. All right. Just go into the light. All right, so if, let's start over here. Um, floating stairs. So uh, what I consider floating stairs, actually I would consider both of these to be floating stairs. Um, however, this would be typically what they'd look like and then non-floating would be when you have blocks going all the way to the floor underneath them. Um, and then basically you use these larger blocks, or the full blocks, in order to be a base for the actual step. So this is the base for that. Um, so they, in my opinion, I don't think they look good with these blocks in here. So you have the option to, uh, you know, remove the blocks, but then they look... Uh, almost really unrealistic. So uh, there's other things you can do to have a, a floating stair that's a little more minimal and still looks good. So basically what you do is, and I know I've talked about this before, but I, I haven't really touched base on why or how, um, but basically what you do is instead of putting full blocks underneath, you put in a set of stairs. So this block is a set of stairs that's underneath this one, and it's essentially just upside down. Um, so, as easy as to build a set of stairs. Oh, that's not right. You just blocks and stairs. Well, it turns out that building a nice floating staircase with just only stairs is also really easy to do, and just, in my opinion, looks better. So. <clears throat> this may give you a little bit of trouble um, if you don't know exactly where to, to place your cursor, but basically you just attach these stairs onto the backs of those stairs. Now if your cursor is not in the right place, then it may it may f flip wrong. Yeah, so it's actually, see like that, aha. There we go. Uh, it's actually easier to build them this way, and I feel like they just look better. Uh, better. So here in a second, we're going to talk about spiral staircases. Um, so I know I touched on this. I believe I did a little bit of building in here. Maybe not. Let's see if I did. I did. Uh, on square towers, it's easier to... Well, hello, Creeper. How are you today? On square towers, it's really easy to put kind of a spiral staircase that leads up the walls. Go up, turn left, go up, turn left. It's a shame these don't turn right, but uh, for some reason that was just the uh, the way that I went. Smile. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so these are really uh, easy to do, but if in a circle tower it's difficult to do staircases that follow up the outside of the walls. Uh, so for a circular shaped tower, uh, like I've got more than a few here on the map. It's easier to do a, a floating spiral staircase. So if you watched uh, episode four, which was a silent, a silent episode, um, you got to see me building those. Now, um, if you did watch, uh, I appreciate it very much. Uh, but they uh, they have actually been changed since that video was over. I probably spent another I don't know thirty minutes playing with them and just getting them to be exactly how I wanted. 
So this is a very large spiral floating staircase. And uh, uh, when I built it on episode four, it was actually only two bricks wide in total. I ended up adding an entire third row uh, just so I could add the hand railing and the, the lamps, which uh, the torches, which I, I feel fit very well. Uh, now, when I originally built these, I built them with a center column of bricks uh, to kind of give me a guide to spiral around. And I thought, oh, how convenient. And you guys know me. I love, I love beacons. So I was like, oh, that's really convenient. I'll just put a beacon up the middle of it. Um, and then at the end of the video, uh, I ended up actually making a really sweet like roof kind of a thing to go over it. And then today, I got to mess around with it again. It just wasn't happy. Um, and I put on a square turret tower, which I know I had mentioned that I had wanted to do um, before. I was like, you know what? A square turret on top of a round turret. It's not anything normal. Uh, but I really like that tower over there, so I wanted to recreate it. It is a little bit smaller in shape. But you know what? This is my castle, and so I can have a square on top of a circle. That's absolutely fine. Anyway, so since I did a square on top of the circle, and I do feel like that... Okay, let's just go in the door. Uh, I do feel like that squares are easier to build staircases along the outsides. I went ahead and continued on with stairs going all the way up to the top. And actually, I feel like it fits really, really well. Uh, it's almost like a, a seamless design. If um, when you're running down the stairs it, or you know moving down the stairs, it just it just flows. So uh, when you get here, you can either you know whatever go out, or you can just continue on going up the stairs. I I love towers. I really do. Looking for something to see if I couldn't snipe something. But then you'd probably get to see me fail. So maybe it's best that I didn't find anything. There's a witch. Now, witch is probably going to drink some potion and heal. But it didn't. I don't want anything to do with that. So I had almost mentioned this the other night. Um, I'm kind of a derp, and yes, I am going to be up to go fishing for in the morning. Um, I'm not going to miss that again. So anyway, I did find out the other day I was out hunting, and I did happen to have a fire spell on my bow, and I went to pick up all the meat. Uh, as normal, I was going to take it to my furnace and cook it, uh, so I could have a nice stockpile of furniture, or, uh, excuse me, stockpile of food, and I, I found out that all the the food that was dropped on the ground was already cooked, and I was like, you know, what the hell? You know, I haven't cooked this yet. How are these? This must be a glitch. These cows and these sheep are all dropped in cooked meat. And that was when uh, uh, somebody had let me know that, well, if your arrow is flaming, it cooks the meat. And so you automatically just pick up um, cooked meat, which is really awesome. Uh, so you don't have to waste coal putting it in the furnace. All right. so. Yeah, those are the, the new stairs. Um, let's give you kind of a bird's eye view of, of what I've done. So progression's coming along well. I will build up the, the back tower here to the same level as the three, well, these two. I will put another square on top of uh, this one here. And then I might do something a little bit different on the front two. I might put spires instead of like turret towers, which is kind of similar, but they have pointy roofs. Um, I just want to make a pointy roof and talk about that. I did change the brick type up for the roof of the main house. I think that the spruce or lighter wood just looks uh, really good on the stone. I also feel like it's probably more accurate than another brick. Uh, so here's what I've done so far. Um, I got all of the floors laid uh, in all of the house. Uh, both of the hallways on each side of the grounds are done. Uh, put in iron bars for windows here along the, the main run. I feel like uh, if I wanted to be like kind of accurate to a castle, you know, this being near ground level would need to have some security. Uh, that's why I didn't use wood. Uh, got all the doors that I could find. I probably missed some, but I got all the doors that I could find framed out with the brick. I think it makes them look clean. Um,
So I've got these little areas in between uh, the circle turret towers and the main house. And now this will have a second floor, so I can actually put a door in here, um, depending on how I'm going to build the house out. But on this side, I just simply made from, like, because like the rooms that go in between these don't really do much. So yeah, this will be like in the main house or whatever. But the rooms in between, they don't really do much. So I was like, well, you know what? There's room in here with how I've got the this wall offset. So we can put a trap door, and this can just be um, kind of a you know a security point. You know, if this castle were being used as an actual keep, uh, we need lots of places for archers and lookers and spotters and stuff. So um, unknown if I'm going to have access from the main house to that floor. I just went ahead and put in the stairs right there. Yeah, I got the main house finished. Okay, so I would love for the entire castle to be done in this uh, nice brick pattern, but these things take so long to build, dropping the bricks in, in the circular pattern. Um, the two choice, choices I have is switch bricks in the build, which would slow it down tremendously, uh, or get it fully built and then lay the bricks in afterwards. But I think for kind of the lower level of the house or these big giant turrets, I think I will end up doing them in this fashion to break up their shape a little bit. Um, I did leave a solid line here. Uh, I will fill in these all the way up, but I, I left this line here because this is the base level for everything. Uh, so turn right or left. Well, that was the, the main uh, baseline for everything, so I kind of have a separation there. So everything from that point will be the same height. Everything down below that is just what goes down into the ground. Uh, I did, <laughs> I was conned into building the ender portal today. Uh, took me a very, very small amount of time to figure out how to make it. Uh, I did, I went in and then realized you couldn't get out. And the only way to get out is to kill the end dragon. So uh, I killed the end dragon, which I was not very happy about. Um, I don't like the fact that I, I, I did it in god mode. Um, I didn't earn that beating the end of the game. So that was kind of aggravating. Um, and then now, even worse, on this particular map, once I switch over to survival mode, I have killed the end dragon, and I can't even earn uh, the ability to kill him again on this map. So I'll have to do it from another map. But um, I'm spending so much time on this this map and this castle um, that I would like this to eventually be kind of my main. However, uh, it would also be beneficial to kill the Ender Dragon in a map that's never been into creative mode. Um, that way I get the proper points for it, proper trophies and all that shit. So. So apparently the, uh, the eyes, once you put them in the Ender frames, they have to line up the correct way, and if you don't put them in right, um, and it's kind of a very subtle difference on whether they're in correctly or not, uh, will mean that your ender portal doesn't work, or end portal, I guess. So I had to screw around with it for a few minutes to, to get that to work. I was asked if I was going to make an easier access to that room. Um, I probably won't really ever have these doors open. Not that it really matters, but I, I like the idea of having a maximum security front entrance on a, on a keep or on the castle here, especially into the belly. Um, and I was asked if I'm going to make an easier you know, way to get into here, and my answer was no. I kind of like how the, the thought of, you know, that's so far back in the game that that room shouldn't even be visited until after I've mastered the nether portal or the nether realm. So I'm completely happy with that being that far down away and having to travel that far to get there. All right, other things I did to the house. Um, obviously, you see I did the, the staircase. Um, and so they are rather large, and I'm okay with that because I didn't really have any other plans with this very large room anyway. It's not super functional. Um, so 
Well, I just need to, f I'm not really going to add anything else on. I just need to finish the house. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of building tonight. I figure watching me lay brick by brick for most people could be kind of mind numbing. Uh, I'll highlight the, the stuff that I do. Oh, okay. So I completely finished, uh, I'm going to call it kind of the hallway from, you know, tower to tower. And I'm missing a brick there. I'm not sure how that's possible. There we go. Uh, anyway, I finished that area there. Now, I know back in this back room, uh, it's not kind of functional. It's got a giant uh, staircase in it. Um, but since I do have you know, a hallway leading up, I don't think I'm going to be able to make any type of good connection from here to the stairs without it. I mean, it won't, it won't look good at all. So I think I will leave this walled up, and then I will just make a connection into here. So that's the access to here. Uh, again, I don't really, it doesn't bother me too much that I can't get in here from both sides uh, because, again, this castle is, is so huge. I've got plenty of room for anything else I want to do. But I do think, however, I will make this uh, a second floor on its own, and then I'll do something in here. I'll make it a, a room full of um, armor sets. So, yeah. Oops. Very unprofessional. So this room will get built, and then uh, this lower level, I'll make it an armor suite. I don't know. Really, I, I wanted to make this house for the appearance on the outside, not so much on the inside. I do want it functional, but... Uh, up here, instead of iron bars, I put the wood fences. Again, with it not being on um, the lower level, I felt like as far as security goes, the wood would be sufficient. And I also like the look from the outside of having the wood. Yeah. I will do the same thing on this side as well. Uh, I did finish one of the doorways in here. I know I've, I've said it, this will be like the third time now, I said that uh, I'll take the doors out of here, make it a full entry archway into the, uh, we can call this a lot of different things, uh, the garden area, and then just have you know doors that go in the castle. Now those will give access to up here. Up here I will not create a roof. Um, this would kind of be a place that, again, if there were troops, we'd need to build a line archers up right here. I did realize later that if I were to make these archways bigger, uh, or if I were to take out these steps, I could actually put a wood fence in there, and it would actually kind of look like the wooden gates that go up and down, um, but it's, it's just nowhere near tall enough. Um, if I put any fences in here, it just blocks my path to walk through. All right, so um, I guess what I wanted to do was kind of give you just a quick tutorial on how to build a floating spiral staircase uh, in easy fashion. I know I showed you how to, to work on these. Um, I used, in, over in that uh, square turret tower, I actually used a center thing to, to build around. Um, so basically, all you're going to use is the slabs and the stairs. So pretty simple, and then once you get once you get the hang of it, it actually just goes really fast. pretty much how easy it is to make a spiral staircase. Um, I imagine if you wanted to, you could significantly 
thin it down and probably make it one row uh, if you wanted to. But yeah, pretty simple uh, and, and also actually fairly quick. And then if you if you kind of want to round it out, you can actually use the same stairs into the corners and it'll give it more of a, that'll just flow nicer. So, oops, not like that. There you go. And then in the middle there, if you wanted to leave your center uh, piece or take it out or put a, a beacon in there, you've got all kinds of options of really whatever it is you want to put in there. And then I would suggest putting a slab here uh, to kind of, if you're not going to put anything in the middle, put a slab there to kind of uh, tailor it off. Um, and if you want to go three wide, uh, you basically just do a stair and then a row of, of slabs and then that would be where your uh, where your torches go. I haven't tried to build one of these in a single, but I don't I don't particularly like um, any pathways to be single. So yeah, it is absolutely just as easy. I just wouldn't like to have to try to walk up that. Um, I think on this one, it would be really kind of a must that you put in the inner I'll call it the inner stair step. Um, that way it's uh, easier to, I just did something wrong there. I totally lost my rhythm. There we go. Okay, so if you pull, well, let's, let's put that in there first. So if you don't have that inner stair there, it would actually be kind of cumbersome to walk. So let's see what happens when we put the center stair in. There we go. It's still kind of cumbersome, and this is why I wouldn't particularly like a single set of stairs. Now, I guess if you were dead set on having a smaller one, you could make a dual like that over there and then actually run your torches on the outside steps. Um, but then again, it would, it would really hang you up in this area. Let's, let's finish that and see how that works. It's quite cumbersome still. I mean, it's manageable, but on the other side, it does take up significantly less space. So, there's your what I'm going to call floating spiral staircases. And I guess technically, you could make them non floating and actually structure these. just by uh, putting like wood supports. Ah, but they're slabs, so that won't work unless I can put one in here. Aha, uh -huh, you can. Well, that's nice to know. So that's how you could actually make them non-floating if you wanted them to look supported. That's how you would do that. Now 
let's do that and then still see if these are still functional. I think this slab, that lower slab, is going to be in the way. Oh, cool. Clears. Yeah, so you could have a, a supported stair rail um, as opposed to floating if you, if you would wish. of that is this turns into a full brick um, so you can actually kind of uh, you can have a little bit of guarding let's see if that even works nope oh, I should jump right through it but uh, oh, <laughs> you could put right, you could make that a series of you know for lighting to put lighting on And just do that on all of these. That way, wherever you have this put, you've got light for it. Actually, you know what? I don't hate this. Asking me if I'm going to be up. Are you? You're awake now, too. I know, but you don't actually require sleep to live. I got you. I don't hate that. It's a little wonky, but it's not terrible. And then if you actually continue to... Ah, so there would be a problem. If you have these posts and then your spiral continues to go up, uh, like so... You couldn't have that there. I don't know, I just think that would look bad. It's not terrible. Yeah, I don't hate it. Um, yeah, so stairs, how to do them, upside down stairs, and progression on the castle. Pretty happy about that. Oh, um, yeah, so there's the spiral staircase one more time on the walls of the square and then the staircase internally of the round turret tower. Turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right. How many times do we turn right? Turn right, turn right. I like it. That's perfect. So, I'll get a little bit of this, uh, a little more of this built. I'll um, stream later and let you know uh, what I did, why I did what I did. And uh, I'll keep you updated. So thanks for coming by and, and watching. And I hope to see you next time. Let's go find a green beacon. That's the ticket right there. See you guys.